Life is a field. And there are three areas of your life from which the seeds that you sow into your life come from. Number one is your mind. He says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And he says again, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so your life is a report card of your mindset. He says about your mouth that the power of life and death is in the tongue. And then he says again about the mouth that a man's belly shall be filled with the fruit of his mouth. So his words are seeds and whatever kind or quality of seeds that he sows, he receives back into his own life. And then he says about the decisions that a man shall receive the result of his deeds. That's what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs. And he says again that a man shall reap what he sows. And so your words are seeds, your thoughts are seeds, and your actions are seeds. Now, if a farmer sows pumpkin seeds, they get pumpkins. But if they don't want pumpkins, they change the kind of seeds they're sowing. They might sow apple seeds. Why? Because they want apples. If your life's harvest must change, your life's decisions, thoughts, and words must change. Now, we happen to, as believers, have a compendium, a bag of seeds already given to us, which we call the scriptures, in which we see the kind of words we should speak, the kind of thoughts we should think, and the kind of decisions that we are to make. And so God has given us a bag of seeds and says, if you sow these seeds, you'll produce a good harvest. And when we do things God's way, get God's results.